Hey, how's it going everyone? Tricky Acid here, and word on the street is that the rumored RTX 3080 Ti was leaked thanks to MSI. And in this video, I thought I'd bring up a comparison between the standard 3080 and the rumored specs of the RTX 3080 Ti. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos. With that said, let's get to the specs. Now, with the RTX 3080, it comes with 10GB of G6X memory, along with 8704 CUDA cores. Compared with the rumored specs of the RTX 3080 Ti, which is getting more believable each day, but still, take this with a grain of salt. You will be getting 12 gigabytes of G6X memory and 10,240 CUDA cores. That's nearly 1,800 extra CUDA cores and only 256 less than what the RTX 3090 gives you, which is 10,000. 496. So, if these specs are true, the 3080 Ti, besides the extra 12 gigs of RAM that the 3090 gives you, it's still very close to squaring up with the 3090, due to the CUDA core count. And honestly, for those people who felt the 3080 could have done with a bit more video RAM, well, the Ti is clearly the answer. It's not OP like the 3090 for gaming is, since it's a GPU designed more for high-end workloads such as AutoCAD software or even professional video editors, unless you really want to do 8K gaming. The 3080 is still more than good enough, but the TI edition definitely hits the sweet spot in my opinion, between the vanilla 3080 and the 3090. It's like the go-to card in my opinion if you've got the extra funds and it's rumored to be priced around $1,000, whereas the 3080 was roughly $700, so naturally, you'll be paying a higher premium for the extra power. Now, that being said, these are just rumored MSRPs. But saying as crypto miners ended up pretty much bulk buying the RTX 3000 series as a whole using bots or whatever other shady avenues, it's only led to the current cards being marked up massively thanks to these scummy tactics of scalpers. And if the rumors are true, the 3080 Ti will be one of the best mining GPUs on the market, making it another laughable launch just like the rest of the 3000 series, with bots and crypto miners and scalpers taking advantage of buying the whole lot of them. And I understand that Nvidia did attempt to have some anti-mining software on the 3060, but that was cracked and that plan failed. And even if the 3080 Ti follows the same path of anti-mining software, in my opinion, I think it's only a matter of time until that's probably cracked as well. Now, I'm happy that the 3080 Ti will be a new GPU in the market, but what bothers me is that with chip shortages and the lack of stock of no one really being able to purchase any of the 3000 series at the official retail price, Perhaps working on delivering more stock for the other cards could have been a better decision, but who knows, maybe the 3080 Ti launch will be better monitored, so only time will tell whenever this card is officially announced. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a like as it really helps me out, and I will catch you all next time.